friends, this is Julie Norman. Welcome back. I am so glad that you are spending some little time together with me as we talk about planner and planner related videos. I put on out videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. And today I just want to show you real quick how I organize my recipes. This is in a happy planner bag. And you can see that they are just, they are the larger size strings. And I used to have my um, recipes when I was first married in the cards. And the cards were okay, but it seems like you have to really write small and everything. If you have a new recipe, you need to write them on the cards or cut them down to size. And then I put them into a three ring binder. And that was okay, but then I didn't always have the three ring binder ready and I'd have all these recipes ready to file because I'd have to open the binder up. Not that it's hard, but everything, you know, that your steps just cause a little friction to get things done. So now I started to put these in the Happy Planner in a disc mound and I'm really liking it. So I bought these tabs and on Amazon, you can see they've been cooked with and I will link below the tabs and I just punched them in there. It's nice because these have a little bit of reinforcement. If you can see the shininess there, they have the reinforcement here. So they, they punched quite well in my happy planner punch and that, that worked nicely because most of the time when I get recipes, I get them online. And sometimes I do want to print them out if I really like them or want to make my own notes, uh, such as, and, and sometimes you just go to website and it's a PDF or something. And here are um, another way, reason why Discbound is so great, because those cards, recipe cards that I had that I, I want to keep, they fit really well in here. I can either punch the card or right here, I just used a piece of paper and glued it to them and they fit just fine. So that is really handy because it's so versatile in a disc bound planner. And also I can add in a lot of notes on these. Like this is my favorite chicken pot pie recipe. It's from allrecipes.com. And I always, and I've adjusted this double gravy, gravy add liquid. And another thing I'd like to start doing is to date from the last time I made them because then I know if I'm using these recipes or not, because why have a folder full of recipes you're not using or that your family doesn't enjoy. So I have pork and seafood. There are even, you can even pull out recipes out of magazines. And you know, you, these could be reinforced a little bit, but for now it does snap, snap back in the disc bone really nicely. This is from Real Simple. Here is, like, you can do labels on the tabs. I turned this one into the game recipes because my husband's a hunter. Soups, here's another one that I want to have in there. And another tip for your recipes. You may have recipes that you're, maybe they're written out by someone that's no longer around. Maybe you have a recipe in their hand. Perhaps you could... None, if you're not cooking with that recipe anymore, that is no longer a recipe for your cooking book. Maybe it's a museum piece, such as you want to frame that or put it somewhere that you, you know, can keep it nice. Uh, because, you know, you may, if you're not cooking the recipe and you're keeping it in here, then it, it gets in the way of, of when you decide what you want to cook. Just a thought. Another thing is I can cut down recipes and put them you know, these small little things. And yes, you can, I, it'd be easy to take this and copy it. I know there's some of these are dirty. You can tell I cook. And here's another one that is written out. You can fit all kinds of recipes in here. Uh, here are, here's just a Happy Planner page that I taped a couple recipes to. So that is just the beauty of that. And this is the, <laughs> I wrote that out when I was little. So that is the recipe book. And just so you know, these four, there's actually four different tippins that I put on the cover here because I was covering up another picture. You know, like I like to get the Happy Planners on clearance because 
and then just recycle the innards. But these are the um, Planner Perfect over the years, I over the years, over the months, I have different tippins and it just worked really well with the food and to cover this up and I really like how it turned out. So let me know how you organize your recipes, if you have any tips or ideas on how you organize them and how you use them. Um, it, we have to cook, you know, on a weekly basis or, you know, we go broke going out to eat unless you're independently wealthy, which that would be nice. But, you know, it's cooking, you know, we need to gather our recipes in some form. So I hope you enjoyed this today and I hope that you will um, subscribe so we can spend more time together and have a joyful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.